morning my dear students welcome to this chemistry digital class uh, as you know that nowadays we are doing our unit 14 that is biomolecules in which uh, we have studied about the biomolecule we have started the biomolecule and we have done basically the biomolecule in which carbohydrate protein lipids and uh, nucleic acid we are doing uh, carbohydrate we have done in which we have studied about monosaccharide disaccharide polysaccharide and its structure then in the last video i told you about the protein and I hope so you watched the video and uh, you understood all the things in which we have studied especially amino acid nomenclature classification property structure of amino acid then we studied pro proteins and in today's video i'm going to tell you about enzyme which is uh, also a kind of proteins so it is a biological catalyst so mechanism of enzyme action and with this we will finish vitamins and hormones also today so stay tuned and uh, watch this video full so dear student today's topic is enzymes and vitamins so dear student uh, do you know that uh, uh, when we are uh, eating any carbohydrate like uh, you are drinking milk you are eating sugar you are eating sweets okay and uh, we came to know that the end product of uh, these carbohydrate is glucose so can you think that how maltose lactose is converted into glucose what is the thing that convert maltose lactose into glucose yes there is that enzymes these are the enzymes as you know that in digestion system also we have studied that whenever we are eating food there is five component of food carbohydrate protein fats vitamin and minerals and the carbohydrate which we are eating that will be uh, somewhere break down into smallest portion that is energy in the form of glucose okay so there are different enzymes like uh, saliva salivary glands which release from salivary gland have amylase then peptin then we have pepsin sorry uh, rhinine okay then uh, we have uh, trypso trypsin uh, trypsin okay these are some of the enzymes similar way uh, if you will say the suppose for example maltose maltose has c12h22o11 maltose we change into glucose it will change into glucose after hydrolyzing when which which uh, enzyme will help the conversion of maltose into glucose that is maltase okay similar way lactose into lac uh, glucose lactase clear so sucrase sucrose into glucose sucrase so these are some enzymes so we will study we are going to study today about those enzymes so basically what are the enzymes the enzymes are biological catalyst which produced by living cell which catalyzes the biochemical reaction so basically once again we are going to study about the biological catalyst which produced by living cell and uh, which catalyzes which help to catalyze catalyze mean break down or uh, make the rate of reaction faster biochemical reaction in living organism there are some information all enzymes are basically proteins all enzymes are basically proteins if i will say chemically enzymes are naturally occurring simple or conjugated proteins or especially these are globular proteins okay and about uh, at present three more than 3000 enzymes have been identified so if i'll tell about the uh, enzyme these are essential biological catalyst as we studied biocatalyst which are needed to catalyze biochemical reaction almost all the enzymes are globular proteins enzymes are very specific for a particular reaction and for a particular substrate okay that will be uh, study in the uh, mechanism of enzyme action they are generally named after the compound or class of compound upon which they work the enzymes that catalyzed hydro catalyze hydrolysis of maltose into glucose is named as maltase okay that name is maltase now uh, with this some sometime enzymes are also named after the reaction where they are used the enzymes which catalyze the oxidation of one substrate with simultaneous reduction of another substrate these are known as oxy reductase enzymes the ending of the name of the enzymes is always ase is okay maltase lactase sucrase glucose these are the sum of uh, the enzymes now if we will talk about the coenzyme coenzyme is the prosthetic group prosthetic group non protein component which get attached to the enzyme 
at the time of reaction it will get attached to the enzyme at the time of reaction that's why it is called co enzyme co mean partner okay enzyme partner these are generally metal ions or small organic uh, small organic molecules organic molecules examples zinc magnesium manganese iron copper cobalt molybdenum potassium and sodium these are some of the examples of coenzymes which are metallic and uh, you know very well these enzymes coenzymes are the prosthetic group which get attached to the enzyme at the time of reaction uh, and these are generally metal ion and small organic molecule now if we'll tell about the mechanism basic mechanism enzyme are needed only in a small quantity for the progress of a reaction okay it is uh, present in a very small quantity just to progress the reaction uh, and uh, just to progress the reaction and uh, if i will tell about some chemical enzymes those chemical enzymes catalyst uh, that reduce basically it reduce the activation energy it reduce the activation energy and uh, because of activation energy the threshold energy uh, it will provide more and uh, due to activation energy the reaction rate will become less okay uh, the reaction will become fast for example activation energy of acid hydrolysis of sucrose 6.22 kJ mole inverse while the activation energy uh, is only 2.15 kJ mole inverse when hydrolyzed by the enzyme sucrase it means that sucrose co activate karne ke liye the energy that we required that is 6.22 kJ mole inverse but when we will add sucrase in it its activation energy will become 1 uh, 2.15 kJ mole inverse so it means that it reduced the activation energy because of that the rate of reaction will become faster okay and uh, if we will uh, talk about deficiency diseases means uh, those diseases which occur in our body due to deficiency of enzymes these are deficiency of uh, suppose phenyl alanine hydroxide so if we will talk about the deficiency uh, the deficiency of phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme cause a congenital disease called phenyl ketone okay and uh, uh, phenyl ketone urea this disease causes accumulation of compounds in the body which result into the severe brain damage and retardation in children this can be prevent prevented by a diet with the low phenyl alanine content now once again the deficiency of phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme in our body that will uh, cause a fetal disease called phenyl ketone urea this disease cause accumulation in compound of the body which uh, damaged our severe part of the brain and uh, it retard it bring the retardation in children Simil similar way deficiency of enzyme triosinase cause albinism albinism okay so there are some question related to that first question is name the enzyme which uh, whose deficiency cause albinism and phenyl ketone urea just we have done albinism is due to triosinase and phenyl ketone urea is due to phenyl alanine hydroxylase name two important enzyme and example of reaction catalyzed it is invertase which bring hydrolysis of sucrase maltase which convert maltose into glucose these are the reaction maltose will change into glucose sucrose sucrose is c12 h22 o11 with hydrolysis of invertase it will convert glucose into fructose you know very well sucrose is the combination of glucose and fructose glucose and fructose which enzyme is present in saliva the enzyme present in saliva is amylase and it first hydrolyzes starch to maltose and then maltose into glucose name the enzyme which converts sucrose into glucose and fructose that is invertase dear student these are the very one one marks question I write down and learn also name the enzyme which convert maltose into glucose yes maltase glucose into gl alcohol that is zymase heart attack can be checked by using the enzyme streptokinase very very important questions these are one marks so hope so you have noted down and uh, you uh, you learn also these questions next question is what are coenzyme that we have done this is the these are the prosthetic group which get attached to the enzyme at the time of reaction which are called coenzyme
name the enzyme which convert glucose into alcohol that is zymines okay now our next topic is vitamins vitamins also playing very important role in our body and these are also known as biomolecule why these are known as biomolecule because vitamins are organic compound which cannot be produced by the body and it must be supplied in a small amount on diet to perform specific biological function for the normal health growth and maintenance of body the vitamins are designated by alphabet a b c d e k it means that there are six vitamins one a b c d e then not f okay there is k any subgroup of individual vitamins is designated by number subscription like a1 a2 b1 b2 b6 b12 d1 d2 etc as a water soluble or fat soluble these are present at a water soluble or fat soluble vitamins are generally classified into two broad categories there is water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are the vitamins which are soluble in water these are called water soluble vitamins vitamin b group are basically b complex group is basically water soluble which we are uh, taking as a medicine also that is b complex medicine okay vitamin c is also water soluble whereas if we talk about fat soluble oil soluble that is the vitamins which are soluble in fat are called fat soluble vitamins vitamin a d e k except b and c all the vitamin a b sorry a d e k are fat soluble there are one chart that is uh, related to vitamins which will show us the vitamins chemical name of vitamins which is coming in one marks source of vitamins what we need to eat and deficiency of diseases due to the vitamins okay so uh, let's do it in different so as uh, i told you that we will talk about vitamins and we are doing vitamins so these are the organic compound which cannot be produced these are the organic compound which cannot be produced by body and it must be supplied by our diet in small amount to perform specific biological function for normal growth and maintenance of body dear students vitamin is not a new word for you it is one of the major component of body that is used as a protective food why it is called protective food because it uh, its uh, consumption ya yeah, the use of vitamins will help our body to strong, make our immune system strong as nowadays uh, the whole world is suffering with the this pandemic covid 19 it is a viral disease so the people ya yeah, the expert of medical team they are just advising us to have vitamin c type of fruits it's uh, make your immune system strong because there is no vaccine of this uh, particular disease so dear students so it is also the vitamins playing very important role to protect us from this coronavirus so basically if we will tell these are the organic compound which required in a small amount in our diet but their deficiency cause specific disease which is most important we should know the specific disease is due to deficiency of which vitamin if a person know that this vitamin is less the deficiency of this vitamin is there in our body so if he will or she will eat that that particular vitamin rich food so maybe they can uh, uh, heal that problem yeah they, they can uh, Uh, mean uh, find the solution of that problem by their own most of the vitamin that cannot be synthesized in our body but plants can synthesize almost all of them hence vitamins are considered as essential food factors all the vitamins are generally available in our diet they are generally regarding as organic compound required in diet in a small amount to perform specific biological function for normal maintenance of optimal growth and health of the organism vitamins are designated by alphabet a b c d e k basically the vitamins are a b c d e and k and some of their subgroups can be written in the form of number like b1 b2 b6 b12 okay in the subscription so let's talk about the classification the vitamins divided into two that is water soluble vitamins and oil soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are basically vitamin b all b complex we can say c vitamin b and c are water soluble vitamins and vitamin a d e and k are oil soluble vitamins so dear student let me tell you about the uh, question that will come in exam yeah, that is coming in exam basically from this particular chapter uh, topic that is dear students here question can come like uh, uh, 
नेम द केमिकल नेम या नेम द केमिकल नेम ऑफ पर्टिकुलर विटामिन सो एज यू नो दैट क्लासिफिकेशन वाटर सॉल्वल विटामिन बी यू एंड सी आर देयर एंड ऑयल सॉल्व विटामिन आर ए डी ई एंड के सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट इज द केमिकल नेम ऑफ दिस विटामिन बी वन केमिकली नेम्ड एज थाया मीन इट इज केमिकली नेम्ड एज थाया मीन एंड इट्स सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन आर मिल्क राइस ईस्ट नट्स एग्स ग्रीन वेजिटेबल लीवर किडनीज एक्सेट्रा एंड डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन बी वन इज वेरी वेरी विच इज लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट रिटार्डिड ग्रोथ डिजीज ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम दिज यू कीप डेट ओके बैरी बैरी इज द डिजीज दैट कॉज बाई बी वन डेफिशियंसी ऑफ बी वन सिमिलर बी टू इज नोन एज राइबोफ्लेबिन एंड सोर्स इज टर्निप मिल्क एग ईस्ट वेजिटेबल लीवर किडनी अगर इन चीजों को खाएं तो ये डिफिशियंसी विटामिन बी टू की जो पूरी हो सकती है द डिजीज दैट इज दैट इज ग्लो ग्लोसिटिस ग्लोसिटिस दैट इज डार्क रेड टंग डर्मिटिटिस एंड कैलोसिस ऑल्सो देर इज अ फिशरिंग ऑफ एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ माउथ एंड लिप्स ऑल्सो सो बेसिकली इट इज अ रेड टंग ओके डार्क रेड टंग नाउ नेक्स्ट इज बी सिक्स दैट इज पाई डॉक्सिन द सोर्स इज ईस्ट मिल्क मीट फिश एग योक होल सीरियल ग्रैम्स एक्सेट्रा डर्मेटाइटिस इज द नेम ऑफ डिजीज डर्मेटाइटिस विच इज कॉज ड्यू टू डेफिशंसी ऑफ विटामिन बी सिक्स बी ट्वेल्व दैट इज साइनो कोवाल अमाइन वाई कोवाल इज देर बिकॉज द सेंट्रल बी इज Uh, बी कॉम्प्लेक्स बी ट्वेल्व इज मेड अप ऑफ कोवाल्ट द सेंट्रल मेटल इन द बी कॉम्प्लेक्स इज कोवाल्ट ये स्टूडेंट एंड मीट एग लीवर ऑफ ऑक्स शिप पिग फिश कर्ड आर द मेजर सोर्स एंड पनिकस एनेमिया एनेमिया इज द डिजीज खून की कमी होना दैट इज द डिजीज ड्यू टू डेफिशंस ऑफ बी ट्वेल्व एंड यू माइट सीन दैट डॉक्टर वेन एवर द ब्लड आर बी सी डेफिशंसी इज देयर Inflammation of tongue and mouth is there. So the um, doctor is suggesting to give you B complex. B complex is B12. Okay, that uh, vitamins capsule doctor is recommended and uh, that can uh, somewhere that can uh, heal the problem of uh, deficiency. Then vitamin C is ascorbic acid, which is very important. Ascorbic acid is basically acid. Bola to citrus acid. You can have citrus fruit here. citrus fruit is the major source like orange lemon amla tomato green vegetables these are the things that you can have to recover the deficiency of vitamin c scurvy is the disease name of disease scurvy scurvy you know very well that that is what it is bleeding of gums pyria bone deformities in children these are the scurvies so these are the basic uh, of water soluble vitamins now if i will say all soluble vitamin vitamin a retinol this is also known as bright eye vitamin bright eye vitamin okay for the eyesight it is very good cod liver oil shark liver oil carrot rice polishing liver kidney butter milk these are the major source and the name of disease is grero phthal mia zero phthalmia which is called hardening the cornea of eye or night blindness it causes night blindness also night blindness is chemically known as zero phthalmia that you need to learn because in one marks it can come vitamin d deficiency of vitamin d chemically it is called ergo calciferol aur yahan bhi aapko bahut sare disease aise dikhenge doctor ne diye honge jo isme calciferol likha hoga so ergo calciferol ferol is the uh, chemical name of vitamin d milk egg yolk cod liver oil exposure of sunlight these are the major source and rickett is the name of disease it is uh, related to bone and in rickett bone deformities of children in children and osteomalacia is there that is soft bone and joint pain is there in adult okay so mostly mostly aapne dekha hoga dadi ji ko mummy papa ya jo old age old age hai they are uh, complaining about the bone bone uh, pain that is due to the bone marrow okay so at that point doctor is suggesting them to give calciferol type of uh, 
medicines that is somewhere will recover the deficiency of vitamin D. Vitamin E, vitamin E is tocopherol, oils like cotton, seed oil, soybean oil, wheat gram oil, sunflower oil. These are the some um, source and it can cause sterility problem. Sterility means somewhere reproductive problem in mela especially okay then k vitamin k phylloquinone phylloquinone dear, dear student uh, vitamin k is very important for blood clotting so vitamin k is phylloquinone cereal green leafy vegetable are very important and the disease that caused by deficiency of vitamin k is hemophilia that is hemorrhagic condition increasing blood clotting it increases blood clotting time more the blood clotting more the loss of the blood okay uh, sorry less the blood clotting more will the that is the ghana ho jayega blood so hemophilia is the uh, disease vitamin h that is new although aapne suna nahi hai vitamin h is biotin yeast liver kidney and oil dermatitis loss of hair paralysis nowadays theek hai loss of hair bal chale jana that is this vitamin due to vitamin h and uh, uh, even paralysis also due to nerves system q10 is coenzyme chloroplast of green plant and mitochondria of animal it has a low order of immunity in body against many disease that is coenzyme so this is all about now i will send you one photograph of uh, vitamin chart with the help of this photograph you can note down your notes and you can also find out that the whatever i have told you the vitamin name chemical name sources of vitamin and deficiency disease okay now quickly just discuss one marks question of vitamins so the first question that will test your your understanding is the chemical name of vitamin b2 is riboflavin the chemical name of vitamin b2 is riboflavin then uh, bit name of the vitamin whose deficiency caused the disease xerophthalmia xerophthalmia is caused by vitamin a which is also known as the night blindness okay deficiency of vitamin dash causes scurvy that is vitamin c what is hyper vitaminosis and a vitaminosis that is excess intake of vitamin a and d which cause hyper vitaminosis multiple deficiency caused by lack of more than a vitamin is called a vitaminosis deficiency of more than one मल्टीपल डेफिशियंसी कॉज बाय लैक ऑफ मोर देन वन विटामिन इज कॉल्ड ए विटामिन इस वर्ड को याद रखना है जब एक से ज्यादा विटामिन की डेफिशियंसी बॉडी में होगी तो दैट वर्ड इज कॉल्ड ए विटामिन और जब एक्सेस कुछ कोई विटामिन हम ले रहे हैं और वो हाइपर विटामिन कॉज करता है डेफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन डी कॉज रिकेट ट्रू और फॉल्स इट इज ट्रू नेम टू वाटर सॉल्व विटामिन दैट इज विटामिन सी एंड विटामिन बी ग्रुप इज विटामिन ए वाटर सॉल्वल नो इट इज फैट सॉल्वल retinol is a vitamin a name the vitamin whose deficiency cause very very and pain in joint that is vitamin b1 vitamin c is a vitamin found in fruit and vegetable it cannot be stored in our body why it is soluble in water and hence excess of it gets excreted in urine okay so these are all about the vitamin dear students so you can understand from these one one mark question which type of question can ask from vitamins so you must learn this table basically just to prepare yourself for board exam okay so this is all about for today tomorrow we are going to study the last topic of this chapter that is nucleic acid with this then chapter will be finished and uh, then we will start to prepare ourselves for for the test okay so dear students once again thank you very much for watching this video please it's my humble appeal that now school is also going to reopen so you must be serious toward your study so till my next video take care yourself stay home stay safe thank you have a nice day thank you